All right, welcome to Medellin, the city of eternal spring, because the weather here is always perfect. In this video, we're gonna show you all of the top things to see and do while you're here in Medellin, Colombia. Let's go. We have a big day ahead of us. We're going to see a bunch of the top things here in Medellin. But first off, we're going to start with the metro system. It is the only metro system in all of Colombia. Let's go check it out. We have noticed that in Medellin, it's pretty mask free. But when you are riding the metro, mask up. So if you haven't seen our video in Mexico City riding a metro, it is a nightmare and this was so enjoyable. I didn't get pushed once, I didn't get lost, and I didn't have the door shut on my arm. Medellin, you've done a good job. We are in the Santo Domingo cable car and it's going to take us up to Parque RV. It is a separate ticket that you have to buy and it was I believe around 12,000 Colombian pesos per person per each way. So remember to add that into the budget. <laughs> RV has a market that highlights the regional crafts and produce. So Parque RV is this huge ecological park that's right above the town of Medellin, up in the hills up here. We came up here through the cable car. I know you can take buses up here, but it is like a third or a fourth the amount of time it takes if you just take the cable car. And the park is usually only open Tuesday through Sunday, and it does get very busy on the weekends. But today is Monday, and they are open because today is a public holiday here in Columbia. So if it's a public holiday, just know that the Monday is going to be open, but then Tuesday it is going to be closed. And I believe the park hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m.? Not totally sure when they close, but they open at 9. Just want to take this moment to shout out to my tattoo artist, Carlos Stapper. Now isn't that dapper? If you're in Medellin, reach out to Carlos Stapper and get yourself a tattoo because he is the man. Gracias amigo. Que chimba! So we made it here to Parque RV and I'm not really sure what there's to do here. I read that there's supposed to be a bunch of trails and you can walk around, but everything's blocked off, so I don't really understand. There was like a ticket area and somebody was selling tickets, but I don't know what the tickets are for. So I think we're just gonna head back down the cable car. If you guys are enjoying this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We highly recommend that once you get here, figure out the metro system, it's super easy, and traffic here gets pretty bad, so it'll be your best friend to be able to zip across town, and it takes you all over this huge city. One thing you always wonder when you're getting to a new country or a new city is if the water is safe to drink. And in Medellin, Bogota, Cartagena, the major cities, the water is completely safe to drink from the tap, so no need to buy water and including places like Guatape and when we stayed in even the small pueblo of Jardin, it is also safe to drink. But it's good to double check when you go to the smaller towns and ask your Airbnb host or the hotel staff if you can drink the water. But no worries, you can drink the water in Medellin and it tastes good. So even though back in the 90s Medellin was 
actually the most dangerous city in the whole world. It transformed to being one of the most innovative cities in the whole world. And it's actually becoming the Silicon Valley of Latin America. We're lost. No, we're not. So if you are taking the metro system, the exit that you want for the botanical gardens and the Parque Explora is Universidad off of the blue line. I think it's called the A line, but it's the color blue. The Hardin Botanical Gardens here in Medellin are so gorgeous. It's a great place right in the middle of town, I guess city, to be able to get away from it all. You can always see locals hanging out, having picnics, just relaxing in the greenery. And entrance is free, which is super helpful. You just have to give your name and then like an ID number. Right here we have the butterfly exhibit. It's an enclosed butterfly exhibit and you get to go in there and have all the butterflies fly around you. But it's not open right now, which is kind of a bummer. Since it's a holiday, they got games, food vendors, all kinds of stuff going on. All right, so I think we found a guy selling sugar cane juice, which we made fresh sugar cane juice from here in Costa Rica, and it was delicious. So we're gonna go see if we can buy some. How good is that? Oh, that is so good and just refreshing. Some fresh sugar cane juice. And it was how much? 2,000, which is only 50 cents. That's wild. So when you're in Medellin, you'll find that there's all kinds of different arepas to get. And we've never had this one in particular. It almost is like a smashed pancake, but it's just full of cheese. Oh my god. That's a lot of cheese. My favorite. So we're in front of Parque Explora. It is another must-do thing while you're in Medellin. It has space stuff and technology and one of the biggest freshwater aquariums in Latin America. I believe they have the biggest freshwater fish in the aquarium. We would go in, but the line is backed all the way to Mars right now because today is a public holiday. And I don't feel like waiting in line that long. But if you have kids, friends, or family, we hear it's a great thing to do while you are here. Thank you. Plaza Botero, where we are right now, is home to 23 sculptures that were made by the famous artist Fernando Botero. Plaza Botero is located in the old quarter of Medellin, and the metro station drops you off right here at Parque Barrio. All you have to do is walk down the steps and you are already down here in this plaza. So today we are hungover and we're going to Commuta 13 in Medellin. It's like a big deal, let's go. And here in the wild we have a hungover Patrick. I just want to go home. Ah! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Colombia has experienced war for the last 200 years, and every local here in Communal 13 has been directly affected by the war that took place in the early 2000s. Listening to Irene, our tour guide's history and his childhood is truly heartbreaking. So once all the war and once all the corrupt governments and things started to kind of resolve itself, and once it was over, the people didn't really know what to do. They put so much energy and effort into like feeling scared. So they put all their energy and everything into the street art. And that's why Community 13 is full of graffiti and so much beautiful murals. So highly don't recommend going on any tour drone. No, no siento, niño. One thing to know with the children is that education is very important. So when you come to Medellin, don't support them by giving them money. What my hungover self was trying to say was is that education is very important. And if you give kids money in Latin American cultures, then it makes them think that getting money from tourists makes more sense than going to school and getting an education. So, that's what I was trying to say. Back to the show. Why do you step on this? Oh, it's soft <laughs> and squishy. <laughs> Even just 10 years ago, if you weren't a local and you came here to Communa 13, you would have been shot immediately. It was still not a safe place. And within the last five years, the community here has completely transformed it and rebuilt the area to be the safest place in all of Medellin, Colombia. And only in five years, and to not much help from the government, mainly the locals. Medellin used to be one of the most dangerous cities and now it is truly one of the safest cities. We have not felt unsafe this entire time. Walking around at night, me walking by myself going to a gym during the day, like, and the people here are genuinely so friendly and they care so much about you and they're just curious about what you're doing. So if you have any reservations about coming to Medellin, we highly recommend you come here. You will love it.